Days ago, I was with my family. In my home. Now you tell me all is lost. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today I'm going to be looking at the new movie, 12 Years a Slave, a historical drama based on the incredible true story of a free black man who was kidnapped and sold into slavery for over a decade. Starring LeVar Burton in the iconic role of Kunta Kinte, 12 Years a Slave is a sprawling epic that chronicles an emotional story of hardship and survival. Michael Fassbender and Benedict Cumberbatch are simply excellent in their roles as white slave owners, as is Whoopi Goldberg, who co-stars as one of Kunta Kinte's close female acquaintances, who was forced to battle the segregation and sexism of life in the early 1900s and escape her cruel and abusive husband. Equally powerful are the performances by Oprah Winfrey, who appears as herself, and Anthony Hopkins, who plays former U.S. President John Quincy Adams. In one of the film's defining moments, Hopkins delivers a moving speech that not only saves Kunta Kinte from slavery, but frees Whoopi Goldberg from her husband, and helps Oprah reconcile with the poltergeist spirit of her deceased daughter. The most captivating performance in 12 Years a Slave comes from Denzel Washington, who appears as civil rights leader Malcolm X in his inspirational attempt to coach a racially divided high school football team in Alexandria, Virginia. Washington is truly unforgettable in every scene he is in, whether he is inspiring football players on the field, delivering a moving speech at a civil rights rally, or threatening a criminal in a back alley with his partner, played by Ethan Hawke. It is a sobering film, but 12 Years a Slave is not without its moments of levity, provided mostly by Tyler Perry in a minor but memorable role as a quick-witted matriarch who provides wise and thoughtful pieces of advice to Kunta Kinte, Malcolm X, and John Quincy Adams. Ultimately, 12 Years a Slave is a truly inspiring film, and I think Sammy Davis Jr. will finally get the Oscar he so rightly deserves. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.